So hi, my name's Alice, and um, for those of you that are maybe new to this channel and don't know, well A, I can't afford good lighting, so sorry about this, I'm filming it in the evening, but B, I've just finished, well I say just finished, um, it's actually the end of summer now, but I have finished two years of a theoretical physics degree. So today in this video I'm going to be kind of showing you my notes from second year, uh, giving you an idea of how I kind of lay them out. Obviously it's not the only way to make notes, it's definitely not the only valid way to make notes, it's just kind of what worked for me and I thought I'd share it in case it gave people ideas. I'm going to basically try and split this video into parts. So in my first part I'm going to show you some of my module notes and kind of like talk through them and explain how I did them. In the second half I'm just going to kind of like flick through them, I'll probably put music over the top, but so if you're just bothered in hearing me talking then I'll try and keep that quick, whereas if you want to actually, you know, like see a bit more of how I lay them out, you can watch the whole video. So yes, for those of you who've wanted to kind of like see what my notes are like, I hope this video helps. Quickly, just to clarify, in this video when I'm talking about my notes, I'm talking about my neat notes. So I do make notes in lectures, but those aren't these. Um, those notes are rough and they're scribbly or they're like me annotating lecture notes and I don't ever really look back on them. These are my good notes. So, in second year I chose not to use lined paper for my notes, but instead went with A5 notebooks. Like, lined paper just never really worked for me, I wasn't organised enough basically to be able to file everything and keep on top of things, and I kind of much prefer A5 size pages anyway. And also with notebooks, the fact that you can't add extra sheets in forces you to keep up to date with things. So I had 10 different colours of notebooks which I got in packs off Amazon and I took 10 modules in second year so obviously this meant I had one colour for each module and that worked really really well for me because it worked as a way of kind of differentiating between the modules in my head. I assigned the colours randomly, I basically just went numerically through the module numbers um, whilst also going uh, through the rainbow order of notebooks. Then I made some labels in Word and I printed them out and I stuck them here on the front. I also stuck the syllabus and learning outcomes for each module on the inside page, so this is just information that I've copied and pasted from the, uh, we've got like a course handbook that contains information about all our modules. And the reason why I did that originally was because I thought it would help with the revision, but actually I didn't look at it at all near exams. Um, it was most useful for me near the start of the module, just to give me an idea of the kind of topics that we go on to cover. So that was on the left hand inside cover and on the opposite page I'd write the module number, the module name and I'd also write the lecturer's name, office hour, office location and email address and I've covered these up here because it seems a bit unfair to show them in a video but I'm sure you get the idea. This was so useful because there are so many times when I'd be sat with my friends and I'd have like a question about a worksheet and it was so quick to work out when the office hour was and where I needed to go for it if I needed help. Then, when I was writing inside, I would use three different pens. So firstly, I'd use your standard black biro, then I would use a thick black fine liner, and then finally, I would use a fine liner that was the same colour as the kind of like module colour that I'd chosen. So, I used the black fine liner for titles, and then I used the coloured fine liner for subtitles and information and formula and, you know, like definitions and stuff that I wanted to emphasise. And sometimes I'd also use it for diagrams too. And then the biro was just kind of for everything else. So the way I made these notes was by going through the lecture slides and I'd kind of copy down the information, but I'd try and put it into my own words or at least phrase it in a way that was easy for me to understand. The simple act of just copying things down or rewording things from the lecture notes really did get a lot of the information to stick in my head. Sometimes though the lecture notes weren't actually enough for me to understand something, so I would then look in textbooks and I'd look online and I'd, you know, include that information as well, and so for those kind of topics my notes would be in a lot more detail, but often the opposite was true. So if I understood a concept well, I'd just, you know, quickly summarise it in the notes so I wasn't wasting time writing about it. Quickly to address the fact that I know they look neat, but on, like honestly that's just my handwriting. My handwriting's always been like that, and I, I mean I guess I want them to be neat enough to, uh, so that they're easy to follow, but it, it's just physics, it doesn't bother me whether they look pretty or not, they just, I, I just have neat handwriting. Sometimes, actually more often in my modules which are earlier on in the year, but you know, sometimes I would go off syllabus and I'd learn more about stuff that I found interesting, either um, online or through my textbooks. And for these things, I'd mark them with an asterisk so that I knew when it came around to exams, you know, this isn't stuff we've done in a lecture, this isn't stuff that I need to actually learn for exams. And I think that is about everything. So the notes I've been showing you while I've been chatting are my quantum notes, but I'm also going to quickly show you some of my thermal notes and also some of my cosmology notes so you get an idea of what kind of more and less mathsy models look like. 
but yes for once I'm done I hope you enjoyed this video I hope it was kind of helpful and I will see you in my next video